Hey, what's up, besties? It's your girl, E. Michelle, and I'm back with another video. Thank you so much for stopping back by my channel. If this is your very first time, go ahead right now, stop what you're doing, click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because you don't want to miss any more of my videos. And today's notification gang shout out goes to my girl, Miss Twyla, because she is just hilarious. She was like, girl, get rid of that recollection type of planner and come on back to the happy planner. And girl, I am back. So thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And to the rest of my notification, gang what up though all right you guys so it's time to do our paycheck to paycheck budget so let's go ahead and jump right into it all right so you guys know we are back into this you guys saw me put this together for the whole entire month so we have that done so now it's just time to kind of work out what we're actually going to be paying and when we're going to be paying it so let's jump in to it All right, so this paycheck is, it's really 4.30, um, you guys know that. And then I actually got a little bit of a bump, so um, my pay is going to be a little bit different now. It'll be 2011 versus, um, I think it was 1963 or something like that, so just a couple more dollars. Got a few little coins, okay, a little, little couple more coins. All right, so we have our rent, um, and the due date is 5-1, and that is 7-37, okay? And then we have um, car insurance, and as you guys know, I told you guys the last time with the car insurance, um, they... Like, in order for me to get it moved, I had to pay, like, a couple, like, an extra hundred dollars or something like that over the next, like, three bill pay periods or something like that. So, anyways, it comes out to 523 Now, the other thing about this and something else I'll go into um, in one of the videos this month, you guys will find out all the crazy stuff that happened to me in April, but, um... Courtney's portion of his car insurance went up and as you guys know he just pays me back for it but I still allocate all of the funds for it because it comes out of my account so I have to make sure that I allocate that 523 there for that um I hope you guys can see let me move you up some more. there we go sorry about that okay so um yeah so that 523 includes both the cars my life insurance and um homeowner's insurance and then like i said he got in an accident which totaled his car completely but we still have to pay for it for this month because it happened in the middle of april so yeah anyways long story but just thought i would kind of explain why my car why it says car insurance but it really has like life insurance and all the other ones in there and then like i said courtney gives me back that um that money so now i think his bill is like 227 so um yeah like that car was getting ridiculous but anywho's okay so we have that and then we have um youtube tv and that is on the 6th and that is i believe it, it ends up after tax now it ends up being 42 dollars. i'm trying to round everything up so that i don't um misplace anything and mistake anything okay so we have youtube tv then we have uh, what else what else nabient and that is five one and that's 88 dollars oh blessed jesus won't he do it <laughs> um and then we have itunes And I believe, let me look at my little calendar because I put, why am I not looking at my calendar? Y'all, I'm sitting over here. I didn't close my little calendar. I'm like using my little um, cheat sheet that I have, but my cheat sheet doesn't have like the amounts that are due or not really just the amounts, but like which one it is exactly. Okay, so, oh, and then I have my Etsy fee. Okay. iTunes music. This is iTunes music. I have to make sure which one it is and that went up and this is actually 16 now instead of the 10 because I did the family share so that everyone can have that on their um on their phone so I believe that's on the 8th my Etsy fee was 124 
which isn't bad. That's cool. Like everything's cool with that. Um, okay. I think. Oh, uh, something else that has to come out of this is Austin's tuition now because, like I said, his dad told me um, that he would not be able to pay his tuition. So I need to look at my car. Okay, so only one. I only have to pay one this time. Okay, so I only have to pay one, and I'm going to put the date down here so I make sure that I know which one I'm paying. Actually, no, I'm going to have to pay I pay it on the 14th and it won't come out until the 15th okay yeah I'll, I'll have to pay one and I'm saying that because I want to make sure that I account for two weeks of his um, daycare in there if I need to if need be if I need to count into that so I just want to make sure I pay that because the next one will be on the 14th but they won't take the money out until the 15th so that's cool okay um um, and I think that is all for, okay, that's going to be it for what we have to pay for now. So let's go ahead and add everything. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I'm clowning. Okay. So we got my cash envelopes and my stinking buns. And y'all know I just do a little thing over here because there's no date. Um, my cash envelopes is four twenty, and my sinking funds is eighty dollars. All right, whew, that's a lot of money. I want to see like what I'm actually working with because it seems like this bill, like this month, is like oh, just kind of crazy already. So let's go ahead and add all of that up. Okay, you guys, so this is the first time this has ever happened to me. It is saying that I am going to be over, over my budget. So, um, $21.65 is what is saying that I'm actually spending. So, um, $21.65 minus $20.11. So I'm in the hole. So I am short $154. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever had that to happen before where it's saying I am short $154. Now the good thing about this is I know that this is actually going to be okay because Courtney is paying me that money back. But, you know, preferably nothing happens um, because this would be like a travesty. Like I would have to go in and pull some money out of my sinking funds or something like that. I I'm actually not going to be able to do anything extra um, with this. Thank God I have that little bit of extra money, that little extra push. Um, so I'm going to write down here, um, Courtney... Pay back, and I believe it was two twenty three. So um, I technically won't be short that much. Actually, I'll be plus again. So if I add that into there, let me do that now, so I can see plus, or let me do minus two twenty three. Okay, so that will leave me with sixty nine dollars. Okay. Which makes me feel better. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. So the things that have changed that really kind of adjusted that and I'm going to have to be really, really careful with it is definitely um, Austin's tuition. Um, that made an impact on the amount of money I had plus um, the insurance going up. So those are things I have to make sure um, be mindful. So I'm just going to write myself a note. Because, like I said, um, be mindful of Austin's tuition because I definitely want to make sure I plan for it um, for the next week because it might be a little bit different because I'm thinking actually for the next week I'm going to have to 
come up with two it'll be two payments that will have to come out of there for um that month so yeah this was an interesting um bill pay let me know have you guys ever experienced that um where you especially if you've come up short what what did you do to kind of mitigate things um if i had to to be honest with you guys if this was what was going to happen where i would would be short 154 dollars i literally my plan my plan of action would be to take some money out of my sinking funds because there's no reason to be um putting 80 dollars in sinking funds and i'm going to be short 154 dollars um, for stuff so I would take money out of my sinking funds and just move that to make sure I've paid for everything and then I wouldn't have a cushion um, in my account anymore but that's okay um, because everything would be paid so that would be my plan of action what plan of action would you guys take if you came up short I definitely want to know down below thank you guys so much for rocking with me and I will catch you guys in my next one Mwah! KK bye